Okay, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, 23rd of March, 392 episode. Um, <laughs> this is a bit of a strange one for me. Um, I have never, ever, ever talked about Graham Souness on this podcast, the old Liverpool great, the Sky Sports pundit. But he said something about Liverpool that I thought was, you could, you could put it to all, all of our lives. I really thought it was fascinating. And I really, really enjoyed listening to him. And it was a great analogy. And it sits well with me for different areas of my life. This is what he said. What you have done in the past counts for nothing. It's all about what you do tomorrow that counts. Past success counts for nothing. Tomorrow's achievements are all that counts. You are guaranteed nothing. So don't look back on past successes as, as models. You only get what you deserve. Graham Souness. I love that. So don't, he says here, so don't look back on past successes as a model. That is fantastic. Because the landscape changes. The environment changes. Everything about it changes. It's a different playing field. It's a different game. Tomorrow's successes doesn't mean zilch in today's marketplace, my friends. It's completely different. Advertising on television used to work. And it doesn't so much now. Billboard advertising used to work. It doesn't so much now. Facebook advertising works today. It doesn't mean it's going to work tomorrow. Google ads work today. It doesn't mean it's going to work tomorrow. I love that. You are guaranteed nothing. So don't look back on your past successes as models. Oh, just think. I can sit here and think about how the betting shop was successful. If I did it now, would it be successful? No, absolutely not. It wouldn't be successful. Like, I'd, I'd have to change. I'd have to adapt. There's so many. But I, I, when I start thinking about it now, I'm excited about what I would have done differently if I was in that situation again. The restaurant I had, what worked then, well, it didn't really work, did it? <laughs> but, but how I got customers in, I, I did certain things right, but I did certain things wrong. And my knowledge now, if I could take that now, my, my knowledge, if I, was, if I was talking as then, my knowledge in the future, i.e. now, is much greater than it was then. And I, I, I love that. Tomorrow's achievements are all that counts. And so with, with a restaurant, what worked, I, I, just, I just wish that I, I know, I knew then what I know now. Because mind you, would it... Would I have learned the same life lessons? Probably not, because I probably wouldn't have had a failing business. I, I'm, I'm pretty much confident that I would back myself now to go into that restaurant and make a massive success of it, the way everything, everything's different the way I am. And so also, tomorrow's achievements are all that counts. So today, what I've done today, I love that. That keeps you grounded. That keeps me grounded. What I've achieved so far in life, it doesn't count for Jack, but it's all about tomorrow. That's how you are successful long-term. You forget about past achievements and you focus on tomorrow's achievements. Uh, Graham Soonis, when he said it, I was like, I've got to rewind this. I've got to rewind this. It's very, very rare that something or somebody in sport inspires me enough to do a podcast on it. And I love sport. I love sport. I can't wait for tonight. There's a, there's, um, when I'm recording this, there's a big match on tonight. I can't wait. It's... It's fascinating for me. Um, and I, like I said, when he, when he said it, I was like, yes, this is good. This is good. I'll just say it again because I think it's so good. It deserves it. It deserves the respect. What you have done in the past counts for nothing. It's all about what you do tomorrow that counts. Past success counts for nothing. Tomorrow's achievements are all that counts. You're guaranteed nothing. So don't look back on past successes as a model. You only get what you deserve. Even just, just going, you can analyze every single line of this. This is, this is pure genius from Graham Souness. You only get what you deserve. 100%. You right now, listening to this, whatever situation you are in, you're here because you deserve it. You deserve this situation. It doesn't mean that you're going to be here forever. You're in this situation right now, if we're honest with each other, because you deserve it. I failed at the restaurant because I deserved it. I was unhappy because I deserved it. I deserved that situation. And we're not talking COVID or anything like that. Um, I'm just talking, you get what you deserve. 
You get in life what you deserve. Yes, there is, there is luck. I'm massively lucky. There's elements of luck. And it's an old football saying, the table doesn't lie. Your life doesn't lie. Your, your luck and the unluckiness, it levels itself out in the end and you are where you deserve to be. And when you, when you realize that, when you understand that, when you take a great big look back at yourself and think, do you know what? Yeah, I am where I deserve to be. I, I, I don't want to be here right now. I want to, I'm here, but I want to, I want to improve. I want to get here, but I deserve to be here. So how do I get to the next level? And if you start thinking like that, if you have that mindset, that ability, that awareness, then that will stand you in massively good stead. Because then you're focused on the future. You're focused on improvement, proving you're not focused on, I don't deserve this. I'm so unlucky. This isn't fair. Everything. I say everything is fair, but then I know somebody who's just recently passed away. And I don't don't mean by health or anything like that. So please don't take it out of context. We are all where we deserve to be. I just, I just think that is so, so, so inspiring, powerful words from Graham Sumness. And he was talking about bloody Liverpool. And there I am dissecting it, every single letter, every single word. and thinking, yeah, Graham, yeah, Graham, yeah. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Okay, tomorrow we're talking about discipline. And oh boy, I'm, I'm going to go on a run. I know it already. I love it. I love it. All right, see you soon, guys. Love you, appreciate you, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.